Hey guys, thanks for coming out today and calling this meeting. I understand that we're upset about the way things went yesterday, uh, but I want to assure you that everything's okay. Everything's fine. Butch is doing a great job with these young guys. And uh, I actually created a little uh, presentation so we can talk through why Butch is appropriate for Tennessee. Um, I call it brick by brick. Uh, 25 point summary of why Botch, no, no, I was supposed to just be a placeholder. One second, guys, sorry about that. <clears throat> brick by brick, a 25 point summary of why Butch Jones is the ideal volunteer. <clears throat> here we go. When Butch Jones got here, he started out by telling us that every house begins with a solid foundation, and we are laying that foundation brick by brick. So far, we've been laying the foundation. You see, if we laid a brick for every game that Butch Jones has coached, then we are at 57 total bricks. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a full house, much less a full stadium, built out of only 57 bricks. So we've got to give him time because there's only so much you can do with 57. We have room to go, room to grow. So I ask that you stick with us because we are 57 bricks on the way there. Number three, I know we're concerned about Alabama this weekend coming off of a big loss to South Carolina. Well, I want to tell you, we've got to put South Carolina in the past. We are taking this one week at a time, one and up. You don't have to get a physical rep to get a rep. You can get a leadership rep. That is from our own Butch Jones just last week. You see, Alabama has a physical rep, but what good does that do them in the long run unless they get a leadership rep? So I ask that you stick with our leader as he carries this leadership rep into success and championships. Number five, pumping blood into the university. You see, the heart of every university is their athletics program. I understand that as the AD, you understand that as our board of trustees. So I'm telling you that this football program is pumping blood into the university one heart at a time. Now what about these hearts? These hearts are not just your average hearts. These are five-star hearts. Count them, one, two, three, four, five-star hearts. Butch Jones has turned out more five-star hearts in his time at Tennessee than we've seen in the history of the program. So you say, with all these five-star hearts, where is the problem? Well, I can tell you, it's with these less than five-star hearts. If you look through these players, what do you see that they have in common? These are the guys who did not stick with Butch Jones' plan for the extent of their time at Tennessee and in college. They left early. They were like, I'm better than this. My heart is full. Well, I'm here to tell them that they're not full. They were a star short of success at the University of Tennessee. How many hearts do you have? Let's see, stick with Butch Jones because every player that stuck with Butch Jones has a five-star heart. Number 12, Electro lighting it up. I know that going into the Butch Jones tenure, we didn't have a win over Florida and the Gators for a while. So I'm here to tell you that we drank the Gatorade and we have a 100% win percentage against Florida in 2016. If that's not something to be proud about, then I don't know what is. Number 16, I know that you keep telling me I've got to hire a championship winning head coach. Well, I'm here to tell you that we've got a championship winning head coach, the Champions of Life trophy. That's not something to take lightly. Which brings me to my last point, number 25, when can we start? I know that you're curious about where we go from here, but in order to see the future, let's look to the past. On Butch Jones' first day with the program, he said, they said we need to put this program back on top. I said, when can I start? And I'm telling you now, when can we start? Let's start today. Let's start next week with Alabama, and let's keep Butch Jones into the future of this program.